And I'm on my way to go see sumo wrestling. Very good. So, uh, uh, Rip, it's like 60 degrees out. You're in a t-shirt. I'm in a t-shirt with a light hoodie. And... Very Jet, freeze! Jet, we... What? <laughs> He's the least stealth ninja because of his bright white shoes. Very freeze. It came and it went so fast, but there's tiny flakes on Rip's black hat. Big day. We got tiny flakes of snow in Fukuoka, Japan that we would have slept through if Jet Wee wasn't a big star. Oh, he hates it. He doesn't know what to do. I see snow. First time he's ever seen it and he's mocking it. On, on a solo mission today. I'm, uh, I just got off the train at Hakata Station. I'm on my way to go see sumo wrestling. Uh, pretty excited. You know, I, I wanted to see this before I came to Japan and I'm lucky it's in Fukuoka while I'm here. Uh, even just getting off the train at Hakata Station, uh, probably five, six 
rikishi uh passed me right in the station uh some of them catching trains some of them just arriving so uh yeah pretty exciting and i'm still got a ways to walk though so i'm uh, just making my walk to sumo here and there's nothing nothing weird in japan at all ever So I'm out of the sumo matches. The show started a little slow. Uh, it's lower ranked matches, uh, not nearly as many people in the audience. The people are not nearly as excited. Uh, but as the night went on, the reactions got louder. The, uh, the matches got wilder and uh, it, it got really intense. It was pretty awesome. There was a group of school children seated right in front of me who were hilarious. They were well behaved and they were so excited for sumo wrestling. So that was awesome. But all in all, just a, a great, great experience. Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone if you're in Japan and you have the opportunity to go to sumo matches. Uh, I don't need another hobby taking up all my time, but I have a feeling I'm going to be following sumo now when I get home, uh, which is so weird. I've always said I'm not a sports guy, but this was awesome.